There's a bunny in the brush pile. They're going to be here a while. So I've been trying to figure out what to shoot this week. I mean, these videos are supposed to be about what I'm doing. Uh, so, the brush pile. I didn't make the brush pile. That was Mike and Tyson. Uh, that's from when Mike and Tyson and Tony were clearing, you know, kind of clearing down at the river's edge. Making it nice and pretty and easily accessible. Um, so that's waiting for the waiting for the right time for the the uh, chipper shredder. Got that going on, but mostly this week has been uh, trying to deal with the fire stuff. Uh, in case you didn't know, or in case I hadn't told you, the uh, house in Minneapolis burned down. Not all the way, but it's pretty heavily destroyed. Uh, the upper floor is a complete, completely gone. Uh, they're going to have to take it down right to the first floor and rebuild all of that. But more than that, all the items that were there were lost, and that was my living space. And I had a lot of stuff there. <clears throat> and now I have to try and uh, prove that I had the stuff. So what they're looking for are invoices, receipts, things like that, and of course any paper receipts that I had uh, would have burned up. So I am trying to reproduce them as best I can from you know, like my uh, the Amazon orders page. They have uh, you can call up invoices and that's the Amazon Prime membership has just you know paid for itself in spades. So yay me. Uh, so I've been going through that and going through old orders and you know remembering things and discovering things that I hadn't you know, maybe I haven't used them in a while and uh, all that there's a lot of stuff that is just totally missing you know, that I can't replace there's you know keepsakes and heirlooms and things that are just gone one of the kind things that are not replaceable uh, there are some things that were individual works of art that I'm not going to be able to have receipts for. Uh, I think I might be able to, you know, call up a picture or something like that, but that's probably not going to not going to happen real quick. Another issue is trying to find uh, temporary housing. We're looking, but uh, I'm looking to try and move into a place October 1st. And uh, it's not looking good right now. Um, trying to stay fairly close to the house. Closest thing that we found so far is down in Richfield, which is a few miles away, but not too bad. Uh, expanding the search out into St. Louis Park, some of the western, west of the lakes areas. Uh, got a couple of candidates now that have to go through the insurance vendor and then they have to deal with the owners of the property to see if they would rent according to the, you know, the terms of the insurance company payments, whatever that is. So that's in other people's hands. And uh, I'm hoping that I can get a place by October 1st. If not, that's going to put some really bad kinks in my plans. They're double teaming the bunny. I talked to the, uh, the claims guy today. The cleaning crew is there. They've got pretty much everything out of the main floor, um, out in, you know, inventory taken, and most of the basement. Um, upper floor is still just, a, it's a mess. 
Um, but the the person who's in charge of it watered my pepper plants, and they wanted to let wanted to let me know. So I told her to say th I told her to said thank you. Did a little bit of fixing on the fence latch, so now I can open it from the inside. Also made a uh, little bit of a profile change here so that when it goes back down it can effectively lock. It wasn't doing that before. And then the nice thing is when this closes it locks. So go me. I think now they're just being hopeful. Making a little bit more progress on the clear out here. Um, all those roots over there we pulled up. There's still a couple more big ones here. There's that one right there, and then there's these couple down here that I haven't started trying to get out yet. Um, they might just be too difficult. I might end up just leaving them there. Also trying to rearrange the kitchen to move the refrigerator over to this wall in here and rearrange all that. And part of that is cleaning off this table, which I've started doing, but then I found this. I had put this here. Um, this is the creepy doll. Uh, and, you know, that the whole story of the, well, the whole creepy doll thing. I'll see if I can find the link to the uh, original. But, uh, yeah, I want to wrap her back up and put her back in the uh, put her back in the right way because I I don't know what this is, but I think it's kind of cool anyway. So you know, maybe we can solve the mystery together someday. Uh, not today. Did I mention that I didn't sleep last night? No. Anyway. Yeah, so my week has been full of um, working on Excel spreadsheets and looking up invoices and chasing down links. And uh, it's not fun, but every time I go through and I find an invoice, there's probably other things on that invoice that I need to add to the list. So it just keeps growing and growing and growing, and I'm sorting it into different categories because I've got enough things for categories and it's just, it's getting, it's, it's a lot. Um, I'm nowhere near done. I think I may be, maybe halfway, probably not. So, but I don't need to have it ready immediately. It's just, I want to do it right, be thorough and provide as much evidence as I can of stuff that I had. Some stuff is just, just gonna be a loss. There's a chipmunk. And they don't know where the chipmunk went. He went that away. So that's about what I got for this week. Um, hopefully I'll have something more next week but it's most likely going to be more of the same. So uh, wish me luck and sleep. See ya.